Is this the Wadsworth house? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Can I help you? Mrs. Wadsworth? Oh, you're from welfare? Come on in. Thank you. What'd you say your name was? Mrs. Gentry. Anne. Oh, go right in. Thank you. It was nice of you to call first. Most of your work is just pop in. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. This is just a routine visit, Mrs. Wadsworth. But I'm sure you're an old hand at this sort of thing. Hey, you might say so after all these years. Let's see, uh, when was the last time you saw a worker? Well, about six months ago. We usually see one of you county people about twice a year. Well, you know, uh, a worker will be glad to come more often if, if there's a need for it. <laughs> We're a very self-sufficient family. Are you going to be baby's new worker? I don't mind telling you, Mrs. Wadsworth, I am. Um, I made a special effort to get this assignment. You did? Now, why is that? Well, I, uh, I heard about the case from one of the other workers, and, uh, it was impossible not to be interested. I see. Uh, what is the composition of the family now? Same as before, no changes to speak of. In other words, you, your two daughters, and your son. Baby. Mm -hmm. We've been living in this house ever since he was born. I notice you call him Baby. And the case history doesn't show any other name. What is his real name? Just Baby. I'm Jermaine. My daughter. This is Mrs. Gentry, honey. She's going to be Baby's new worker. Nice to meet you. Now, uh, what about the family income? Just what the county gives us for baby. Mm. Uh, your daughters, are they employed? Uh, my daughters? Uh, no, they help out the best they can, but it doesn't come to too much. Alba gives tennis lessons in the afternoon and Jermaine... Uh... Once in a while, I do a TV commercial. Sometimes I don't know how we make ends meet, but we always seem to manage. Isn't there any money from your husband's pension? Or his social security? Well, how could there be? <laughs> she thinks he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> that man didn't die. <laughs> no such luck. It happened just before baby was born. When I needed him most, he ran off and left us. But then all that's in the record. Oh, I'm sure it is. My husband was a very weak man, Mrs. Gentry. No character. None at all. And you've had no contact with him since he left? As far as I'm concerned, he might as well be dead. I understand how you feel, Mrs. Wadsworth. Well, like all things, some good came out of it. We got used to being without a man. I'd like to see Baby before I leave. Do you have to? <laughs> well, yes, I see all my clients. Why, is there any reason I shouldn't? No, of course not. It's just the baby's taking his afternoon nap. Unless you think it's important. Oh, I'll be careful not to wake him. And besides, I'm sure you know that it's one of the basic requirements of my job that I see everyone. Of course. As his new worker, you should see him. Don't you think so, Jermaine? Nursery is this way. gets best care in all the world. We all see to that. Oh. 
Mind if I feed him? You do this every day, Mrs. Wadsworth? Have to. The muscles will go bad. His legs seem perfectly normal. I'm surprised he doesn't walk. You must have uh, quite a few clients, Mrs. Gentry. Seems like baby's one of your favorites. What gives you that idea? Well, this is your third time here in a week. <laughs> I guess you're right. He is of special interest to me. But then, he's a pretty special baby. You wanted to see me, Mr. Foley? Yes, I did. Oh, please sit down now. Thank you. Oh, I see you've been reading my baby file. Well, under the circumstances, I thought it would be best. What circumstances? And I've been going through your reports for the past few weeks. You're not spending nearly enough time with your emergency cases. You've been devoting yourself almost exclusively to this Wadsworth baby. Well, maybe I have, but with very good reason. And I'm not telling you to drop it. Just ease off. Compromise. Mr. Foley, this case is full of compromise. And indifference and criminal negligence. And we're responsible. Man, you exaggerate. Other workers have put time in on this case and they've come up with no significant results. None of those other workers spent enough time on the case to accomplish anything. That's not true. One did. Oh, I yes, have it right one here. did. And just when she was beginning to make progress, she disappeared. People drop out of sight. It happens. Not very often. Well, the police looked into it. They were satisfied. But I'm not. Don't let him go too high. He might fall out and get hurt. Yeah, you're having a fall, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I am, too. You know, he seems so intelligent, Germaine. So alert. Maybe, but when you've been around him some more, you'll realize how limited he is. You think so? I ought to know. I have to clean up after him. Hey! That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, let's play another game. I know. What? Let's play with the ball. Let's play with the ball. Yeah. Ball? Yeah, that'll be fun. Uh-huh. Okay. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready to catch it. I'm gonna throw it. There it goes. Well, that's a good try. That was good. That was good. That was a good boy. You caught it, didn't you? Yeah. Hey, let's try something else. Okay? I'm going to roll the ball, and I want you to get it. That's the way. He's a good baby. He knows. Now bring it back to Anne. He's so smart. Come on, bring it back to Anne. Please, come on. Bring it to me, please. Please, bring it to Anne. Oh, yes. That's a good baby. He's such a sweet baby. He's sweet. Oh. oh, he's a smart baby. What's going on? Oh, I've just been playing with your brother. You know, some of his responses are really surprising. And a kid a couple of years old can do that, but it can't do any more. Well, I'm not so sure. Alba, isn't it time for baby's nap? Mm-hmm. I'd better take him inside. Come on, you. <laughs> He likes you. Well, sure. I like him. I know somebody who's not going to like it. Not any of it. Now, come on, let's get inside. I'm getting sick of this morning, no thing. Come on. Does she mean your mother? <laughs> Pay no attention to Alba. She's always saying dumb things like that. Now, I'm sure you have other clients to see. I'll walk you to your car. Thank you. You dress so beautifully, Anne. 
How do you do it on a social worker's salary? Easy. By spending my whole salary. Of course, you have a husband to pay all the other bills. Your husband. Tell me, what does he do? Uh, Roger was an architect. He, uh, he created some of the finest buildings in the city. Did you say was? And? Uh, when, uh, when was the last time baby, uh, had an examination? Why do we have to talk about baby all the time? Well, we don't. I'd like to find out more about you. Well, there's really not much to find out. I, uh, I lead a pretty conventional life. Let's see, I live in a nice house with a marvelous husband, an understanding mother-in-law. That's about it. Do you like physical exercise? Sometimes. I love to go hiking up in the mountains. Do you ever do anything like that? Unfortunately, I don't have much free time. Well, maybe on a Saturday when you're not working. Oh, I usually spend Saturdays with Roger. <laughs> Besides, I don't think it would be much fun for you. I mean, you'd probably wind up having to carry me. You'll never know what you're missing until you try it. Well, maybe, but um, I'm a Scorpio. We're very cautious. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, when was the last time Baby was examined by a psychologist? A psychological test to, uh, determine his mental range and physical reactions? Well, he had all those tests when he was a baby. But he must have had more tests since then. No. There didn't seem to be any reason for it. Why? Oh, nothing in particular. It was just a thought. You know, Scorpios really aren't cautious. Just dangerous. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't you think you should go to bed? Not yet. I want to finish these. He was so beautiful. We were so beautiful together. Why did it have to happen? I just cannot accept it. Anne. I won't let it be this way. <laughs> Your son was everything to me. I know. I wish it had been me. It should have been. It was my fault. No, Billy, you can't come over. You know about the freak. Well, they don't like outsiders coming by. I'd only get in trouble, and you know it. Is that all you guys ever think about? A girl likes to feel like she's something special. Now, what kind of a question is that? Of course I'm wearing panties, don't I always? Well, cut it out. Well, I should be off around midnight. I suppose I could drop by your place on the way home. Listen, I have to go see about the baby. Oh, he's not so bad. Wants to get used to him. Yeah, all right, just for you. I'll make sure they're off. 
All right, I'm coming. Is with baby. Hey, we came back just in time not to pay her extra. What the hell do you think you're doing? We were just fooling around. Nothing really happened, honest. Nothing happened. With your damn titness, nothing. You call that nothing. You lying bitch! You have to believe it whenever it's anything. You lying bitch!
hello, Alva. Is your mother inside? Or playing bridge again? Every Tuesday and Thursday. But I think you know that by now. Do you mind if I wait for her? Suit yourself. Hey. Hi, how are you? Hey. Look what I got. See? It's a tiger. Yeah. The tiger. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, yeah, you like it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you like me very much. I don't know you. Well, you could get to know me. Actually, I'm a very easy person to know. I'd like to be your friend, Alba. In a way, there's more to it than that. I, I really need your friendship. Why? Well, you know how much I want to help your brother. So? I can't do it without the cooperation and support of the whole family. Has anyone been giving you any trouble? No. But that's not the same as having your complete trust and confidence. Baby was born backwards. He's been that way all his life. That's all there is to it. Stop that baby or I'll have to punish you. How do you punish him? When he's bad, he gets to spank him. I think he's just hungry. I know he's hungry. How dumb do you think I am? But I have to wait for Mama to get back. Why don't you get him a bottle? I'll keep an eye on him. I'm sure you would. But I'm not supposed to leave him alone. <laughs> well, he wouldn't be alone. I'd be here. <laughs> you did say your mother was coming home soon. Mm-hmm. You'd better wait. Mama wants to see you as much as you want to see her. Aren't you going to answer it? Guess I'll have to. Hey, baby. Hey. Yes, it must get lonely in there all by yourself. I bet you'd like a playmate, wouldn't you? Yes, you would. Let me be your playmate. Yes, thank you, yes. Let's try something more grown up today, okay? You're a bright fellow, anybody can see that. You want to try to stand up? Yeah. Want to stand up? Want to try? Give me your hands. Give me your hands. That's my boy. That's my boy. Up we go. Okay, hold on. Come on, let's try. Up. That's right. That's Oh, this is AJ. But that was good. Yeah, and it was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's try it again. Let's try. You just trust me. I won't let you fall. Let's go. Up go. Yes, that's right. Hold on to me. Mrs. Gentry, <laughs> just what do you think you're doing? Just trying to test his balance and, and coordination. Yeah, well, you shouldn't be trying anything with him. He's much too delicate. And you had no business leaving him alone. Phone rang, and I thought it might be important. Nothing's that important. I didn't mean any harm, Mrs. Wadsworth. I just want to help Baby reach his full potential. Are you sure that's all you want, Mrs. Gentry? What more could there be? Baby's happy just like he is. He loves being a baby. Nobody's asking for your opinion, young lady. Give me the bottle and get back in the house. All right, let's you and I have a little talk, woman to woman. Do you have any children, Mrs. Gentry? No, unfortunately. Well, I've raised three children, and believe me, I ought to know what is best for my own child. Oh, I'm sure you do. Mrs. Wadsworth, if I could convince you that 
that baby is capable of growth and development, you wouldn't stand in his way, would you? Of course not. What mother would? Well, then I think you should consider putting baby into a special clinic for the retarded. A clinic? You mean like a hospital? Oh, no, not like a hospital. It, it's a day clinic, more like a school, where baby could be with other young people like himself. It's really the best way. Maybe the only way. Well, I never thought about it. But I don't think it would work. Why not? A lot of reasons. It would put a real hardship on the family. Besides, uh, I don't drive a car. But that's no problem. I could take baby to the clinic for you. You mean take him there by yourself? Well, I'd be happy to. It, it's part of my job. No. Nobody takes my baby anywhere without me. I only thought... Well, maybe you think too much. When it comes to baby, I do all of it. I... Besides, we... We could never afford anything like a... A clinic. But you could, Mrs. Wadsworth. For someone like yourself, these places are cost-free. What about the cost to us and heartache and disappointment when it all comes to nothing? But we still have to try. Just give your son a chance, and I know he won't disappoint you. Are you that sure of yourself? Yes. Well, I'm willing to keep an open mind. Show me. Show me why you think baby has a chance. But I'm not therapist. Well, I make allowances for that. Show me. All right. Baby? Baby? Come on. Honey boy, come on. Come on out. Yeah, come on out. We're going to play with the ball. You remember the ball. Now, come on out. Come on out. That's a boy. That's a good boy. Okay, Doc. Come on. Come on up here. Yeah, we're going to play with the ball. We're going to play with the ball. Look at the ball. I'm going to throw the ball. See the ball. It's fun. Very good. Good. Now get the ball, baby. Come on, you remember. You remember. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. Get the ball. Get the ball. That's the way. Get the ball and bring it back. Get the ball and bring it back, baby. That's the way. Get the ball and bring it back, baby. Baby, bring the ball back. Bring it back. Baby, bring it back, baby. You know that progress? Even a dog can do a trick like that. That's my failure. Mrs. Wadsworth, don't make him pay for my inadequacy. Well, I'm not making any promises. But I will think about what you said. You won't be sorry. Oh. Bye. I'll call you.
I hope you had a chance to look over Baby's file. Yes, I have. Ralph, what do you see? I know you'll agree with my recommendation. What's your special interest in this case? Can you think of anything more horrible than being buried alive? Well, that's what's happened to this client. He's been imprisoned by a kind of sick love. Here's a normal, full-grown man, trapped, with no way out. Yeah, there's something here I don't understand. If he isn't seriously retarded, then how do you account for the fact that he can't walk or talk? Negative reinforcement. Some kind of consistent punishment to discourage him from normal learning. That's a pretty serious charge. Well, they're a pretty strange family, especially the mother. Each child is by a different man, and all of them abandoned her. Now, the last one she was married to, baby's father. And I think when he left, she just never got over it. So she's taking revenge on the only male member of the family. Well, that might be a partial answer, but there's probably more to it of a pathological nature. Anne, if you're convinced Mrs. Wadsworth is an unfit mother, you should turn the case over to the public guardian. I thought of doing that, but I'm hoping I won't have to. Suppose it's necessary. Well, I know enough about them. More than enough, but to prove it with solid evidence, no chance. I just don't understand it. <laughs> they should have been here over half an hour ago. Maybe they misunderstood you. No. I was very precise about the time and the place. May I? Of course. Hello? Jermaine, this is Ann Gentry. I'm here at the clinic with Dr. Sun. Is baby on the way over? We're not going there today. Why not? Mama changed her mind. She changed her mind. Jermaine, I'd like to speak with your mother, please. She doesn't want to speak to you. Have you talked to your supervisor today? No. Why? Maybe you should. Without their cooperation, there isn't much you can do. We'll just see about that. Mr. Foley, extension 360, please. Anne. I think you should forget this case. What about baby? What's going to happen to him? Anne, Mr. Listen. Foley, this is Ann Gentry. Jermaine Wadsworth suggested that I call you. What kind of complaint? Surely you don't, you don't believe all that garbage. Yes, but... But, Mr. Foley, can't we at least talk about this? All right, Mr. Foley. Anne, I'm beginning to worry about you. That damn woman. That whole damn family. Anne, I'd like to know what's happening. So would I. can understand your surprise, Mrs. Wadsworth. After going behind my back and telling ridiculous lies, you were expecting someone else. You're damn right. You're not our worker anymore. I just wanted to face you one more time to tell you that you're sick. You're the one who needs help, not baby. Okay, you said it. Now get off my property. You back in trouble again, Mama? You keep quiet. Now you, get away from here or I'll call the cops and have them take you away. I'm going to fight you, Mrs. Wadsworth, with the only weapon I have, the law, for the legal custody of baby. 
Now, you just go ahead and try, honey. There's an agency that works to protect people. It's called a public guardian office, and you will be hearing from them. They can't do anything to us. They can investigate everything. Mrs. Wadsworth, do you think your treatment of baby can stand up to that? That's just so much horse shit. You want him for yourself. Well, agency or no agency, you ain't gonna get him. Because baby belongs to us. No, to me. He belongs to himself. He's not the subhuman thing you've made him. And once I report what I know, it's just a matter of time before baby is taken away from all of you. You damn bitch. I'll be seeing you, Mrs. Wadsworth, in court. work here today? The contractor swore he'd have the water in by the weekend. Good. The sooner the better. Thank you. And Mrs. Wadsworth called. What did she say? You're to call back. Anything else? No. I'll call her right now. I'll take it on the extension. I just wanted to apologize for all that happened today. There's uh, really no excuse for the way we acted. We're willing to cooperate with you if, if you just give us another chance. Okay, uh, let's forget about what happened and uh, make a fresh start. Right. So there's no reason to bring in the public guardian. Maybe not. We'll have to see about that. Suppose we meet tomorrow sometime at my office. Well, I have an idea. Baby's having a birthday party tomorrow. Come then. Well, I appreciate the invitation, Mrs. Wadsworth, but... A party usually isn't the best time to... Do well, that way you can also see Baby in a real family situation. It might give you some more ideas and how to help you. All right. I'd be happy to come. Goodbye, Mrs. Wadsworth. Goodbye, Mrs. Gentry. When you do something, Mama, you sure don't screw around. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, isn't that lovely? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, everybody gather around. 
now. Oh, here we go. Baby's going to make a wish and help Mama blow out all the candles. Come on. One, two, three, blow. Pray! <laughs> now the rest of you just fend for yourselves. Come on, eat up, have a good time. Yeah. Hi. I'd like to pay you a sincere compliment. You've got beautiful skin. Don't tell me you're a dermatologist. No, just a skin freak. <laughs> mm. I'm Dennis. Are you alone? Yes, I'm alone. I'm solo, too. Would you, would you like to go for a ride? No, thanks. I'm not. Well, don't let that depress you. I've got just the cure. I'm happily married. Shh. Don't let happiness hear you. How come your old man ain't here with you? Hmm? He was hurt in an accident. I see. I see. And he's uh, still out of action, right? Are you trying to say something? Lady, there's only one thing I see in those big, beautiful cat eyes. Hunger. Buzz off, creep. There's a difference between hunger and starvation. Wow. You must be president of a woman's limb. Next time, I'll wear my iron jock. <laughs> What of my sister's many blows? The Miss the Menace. You know, you need something to get you in a parking lot. No, thanks. I'm not drinking tonight. Why not? Well, I'd like to be sober when I talk to your mother. <laughs> Maybe you two should get loaded together. Instant communication? Come on, big sister. <laughs> birthday, baby, and many more. Mm. Say, you must have really liked your cake. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's better. Here, let's get uh, Come on, give me your hands. That's a boy. Having a good time? We could have that talk now, Mrs. Wadsworth. Well, later, look. This will help you get with it. Oh, no, I'm not drinking, thanks. I would like to talk to you about baby before it gets too late. There was plenty of time for that. Why don't you just hang loose and have a good time? <laughs> Elliot, let's work out. Uh, you don't mind, do you? Leave the way, Roddy Yes! Go. of losing doesn't even exist.
kind of mother to sacrifice yourself all these years. Most people think it's pretty sad having a child like me. And maybe it is. But it can be a blessing. Mama, you mean it, don't you? Gives me something to live for. No, not something. Everything. Anybody can get lucky and win for a while. I believe in making my own luck. You know, most children grow up and, you know, they go off on their own. Well, that's life and it's only natural. But I find real comfort and joy in knowing my baby will never have to face all that hurt and ugliness. Here, his life is uh, perfect and complete. Are you sure this prize is worth it? It depends on how badly you want it. People saw you drunk, and on your way home, you had an accident. Here, tie her up and get her. Will you go up there and shut that idiot up?
wrong. Does a cannibal eat raw meat? Okay, <laughs> Let's test your appetite. Uh -huh. You beg for it? Ball uh -huh. for it? Uh -huh. Crawl around with a little puppy dog and beg? <laughs> I've got a better idea. Give me a lighter. What the hell for? Just give it to me, okay? your hand in the flame. You gotta be kidding. It's one finger. One little old minute. <laughs> Alba? Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get to paradise. But does it have to be in an ambulance? Just think. Tomorrow. Mm. Maybe I'll have some free time. Go! What are you doing? Now come on, we have to go. Come on. Now be a good little cannibal and just go find yourself another midnight snack. Alba, one of these days you're gonna turn me into a vegetarian. Uh-huh. Well, bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, let's get it over with. Take a look. 
trick, you bitch. She punctured it. She thinks of everything. calls, no police. Nothing's happening. I'm beginning to understand that girl. Why wouldn't she go to the police? Why should she? She's got what she wants. And she means to keep him. What for? About time. Oh, don't worry, honey. You'll get used to it. Oh, yes. Poor baby. Mama? 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 What is it? Well, your bridge group's on the phone. They want to know if you're available. Now, tell them when I'm feeling better. And if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Mama? It isn't worth it. We should have let them take him. Oh, but you're not talking about that circus. Mm-hmm. They wanted to put him in a sideshow. We should have said yes. Are you calling your brother a freak? Oh, Mama. I just thought it'd be better that way. She didn't mean it, Mama. Never. Never let me hear you say that again. I'm sorry, Mama. Tell them to hold off for a few days. We'll call them when we're ready. <laughs> Anne, darling, are you sure you want to go through with this? There's no other way. You're not having second thoughts? Not anymore. You're not afraid afterwards that we'll be just like them? Judith, we could never be like them. Look at that. It doesn't even look like him. 
Hartsworth family. I am in the process of making baby to a grown man. As I have always suspected, his responses are those of a sensitive and intelligent person. His progress so far proves that beyond a doubt. In a short time, the baby you once knew will no longer exist. And even if circumstances beyond my control force him to return home, it will be too late to reverse his transformation. Your baby is lost to you forever. Good sir. Why? We've got to get him back before it's too late. Just tell us what you want, Mama, and we'll do it. First, we have to find her. See any signs of baby? Mm -hmm. Don't go in there. Suppose we know he's in there for sure. Then we'll all go in together. Mm -hmm. Expect you back in five minutes. Both of you.
Better this way. Get some rope to tie our hands. You killed my God. You killed him. My baby. What have you done to my baby? Why do you want my baby? What do you want him? No, what's going to happen to my baby? What's going to happen to him? You won't happen. Oh. oh, tell me. I have to know. Oh, 
going to happen to my baby? Nothing. Then you won't have it. You won't have it. Love, cherish, and protect him. Gonna be good. Okay, come on. How do you feel? Fine. I'll make some coffee. Good. Come on. Come on. Where's my best worker? Are you putting up a new building? <laughs> Hi. Were you lonely all by yourself last night, sweetheart? I know. Wifey loves her big baby husband, yes. Hey, look who's here. Look, it's your playmate. He's coming back. And now he can stay with you always. Come on. Come on, baby. Say hello to Roger. Yes. You do like each other, don't you? Oh, yes. Oh, my two big men. Hey, wait just a minute. Wait, wait, wait. 